hello friends in this video we are going to look at uh, scroll pan in uh, java awt so the scroll pan is useful to scroll the content which it contains so you can add a scroll you can add a panel to the scroll pan then you can scroll that panel so here in this uh, Java AWT example, we are going to add a, a scrollable grid of checkboxes to our AWT frame window. So the scrollable grid of checkboxes is uh, achieved through the scroll pan. So you will learn how we are using the scroll pan here. So as usual here uh, we assume that uh, uh, the AWT frame window was already created. If you want to know how to create AWT frame window you can watch this uh, video from uh, uh, playlist number 04 Java AWT. First, let us know about the uh, scroll pan. The scroll pan is a Java AWT container. That means it can contain a component and it can scroll that component, whatever it contains. So the scroll pan comes with horizontal and vertical scroll bar. Um, but you can customize it uh, like uh, whether you need only horizontal scroll bar or vertical scroll bar or both or even you can specify I don't want any scroll bar at all. So the AWT scroll pan provides scrolling capability for the component it hosts. For example, you can add a text area to scroll pan and scroll the content scroll the content in the sense you can scroll the content of the text area because uh, you are adding it to the scroll pan and once you enable horizontal and vertical scroll bar capability of the scroll pan you can scroll the content of the text area in this example we are going to create a grid of checkboxes and scroll those grid I mean the checkboxes using the scroll band. So this is the example you, we are going to create and if you see there are uh, um, multiple checkboxes here and you can see the scroll bars also. So that's the grid of uh, checkboxes. And there are multiple grid and you are viewing portion of the uh, checkbox grid then we have vertical and horizontal scroll bars so using these scroll bars you can scroll the entire content of this checkbox grid now let us see how it works so what we will do first we will create so first we will create a grid of uh, checkboxes So likewise, so in each cell we will place one uh, checkbox like this. Then, so this will be our uh, checkbox panel. So first we will create a panel and we will set uh, grid layout to that uh, panel 
then we will add all our uh, check boxes inside this uh, panel so next what we will do we will we will create a scroll pan you know that a uh, scroll pan will have so we know that a scroll pan will have a horizontal and vertical scroll boss so then we will have the scrollable content here so first we will have a checkbox panel after that we will have a scroll pan here then we will add this uh, grid of checkbox panel to our uh, scroll pan so the moment you add the content becomes uh, scrollable so after that what we will do we will have our uh, frame window here this will be our uh, frame window and we will add this uh, scroll pan to our uh, frame window so once you do that the content whatever you see this checkbox panel will be added to the scroll pan then scroll pan will get added to the frame window right so we will create a checkbox panel we will add it to the scroll pan then we will add this entire content to our frame window so the content becomes now scrollable so as you see here so as you see here this is our uh, eclipse here we have a basic uh, frame window and if i run it this is our uh, frame window and title we can change it as uh, scroll pen all right so as I explained first we will create our uh, grid of uh, check boxes and if you see here first we created a panel and we named it as a check box panel after that we are setting a layout which is a grid layout and we specified 30 rows and 30 column so the second version of constructor we are using number of rows is 30 and number of column is 30 then here we are using a for loop nested for loop then we create our checkbox and we use that loop counter column and row as the checkbox uh, caption so column dot row like that we are creating a caption dynamically after that we are adding that to our uh, um, checkbox panel grid so the panel grid is ready but if you look at here our uh, frame window size is 300 comma 200 that means its width is 300 and height is 200 but definitely uh, the grid will not fit into this so if i directly add this uh, checkbox panel you cannot see 
uh, it will not be good visually let us do that so if I run it if you see here you can't see anything here at all see so when I scroll it I don't see when I resize I can't see the grid so now let us use the scroll pen so we already saw in the uh, pictorial demo that first we create a grid of checkboxes so we created the grid of checkboxes and we cannot add it directly to the frame window because the content here is uh, huge and we cannot accommodate it with this uh, specific size or when we resize um, the checkbox doesn't show properly so now what we will do we will create a scroll pen so here if you see this is the component we are creating uh, it's a container from java.awt so for the constructor what we are saying scroll pair dot scroll bar always so the other options are so scroll bar never as already told as needed so likewise you can specify a different option so here we are using scroll bar always so that means it will always displace the scroll bar and displace both the horizontal and vertical scroll bar then we are setting the size for our uh, scroll pan and which is width of 500 and height of 250 so but since we are going to add our content to the frame window for now let us comment it so once the scroll pan is created what we are doing we are adding our checkbox panel to our uh, scroll pan finally we will add this uh, scroll pan to our uh, frame window if you see here this add method is for the frame window first first we created a grid of uh, checkboxes using the panel then we are adding that panel or we are handing over that panel to the scroll pan scp that's the name we gave so we are handing over our panel to the scroll pan now scroll pan will take care of scrolling this grid of uh, content next we are adding the scroll pan to our frame window so now if you see i can scroll through the content so you can resize also and it will not affect the grid of component what we have inside So that's the use of uh, a scroll pan. That's all here uh, in this video. Thank you for uh, watching. Bye. If you like the channel, subscribe it. Bye for now.